Hello everybody, me again. It is uh, Thursday, September 12th, 2024. And I'm in Richmond, Virginia, uh, where I've been since Tuesday. Uh, and I'm headed home. Another job over at an army base. This one, Fort Greg Adams, used to be the old Fort Lee. And so they've had some name changes to some of these bases because they're named after uh, Confederate uh, soldiers and generals. And so, uh, you know, today all that has to change. But uh, uh, in this day, in our current times, um, but as for today and as for the Confederate, uh, soldiers, I am standing right here at uh, Hollywood Cemetery, which is the oldest cemetery in Richmond. It's on 135 acres. Uh, I think it was dedicated in 1840-something. So, 20-some-odd um, years prior to the Civil War, uh, the cemetery was already here, but this section of the cemetery is dedicated to the specifically for the Confederate dead, and they're all around me. Let's see here, I'll take a turn so you can take a look. It's a really pretty cemetery. Uh, a lot of trees, a lot of old trees. All right, that uh, monument you see behind me that was dedicated to, it's a monument dedicated to the Confederate uh, dead that are buried here. It is, I don't know how tall it is. It's made from uh, rock that is just piled on top of each other. Um, there's no mortar involved. They were just laid there dry and stacked into a pyramid. And um, all that rock came out of the James River, which is where the cemetery sits, is on the banks of the James River. So it's all granite, I guess. Came out of the river. And, uh, they built that pyramid there in 1868, 69, so a few years after the Civil War ended. Um, the guy who's the architect was uh, in the Confederate States of America Army. He was a uh, Corps of Engineer captain, and his name is over there on a tablet that sits in front of that, and there's a picture of it. I'll put that picture up later. Anyway, there are some Texas boys buried here. I've kind of founded, founded, counted. I try to mix counted and found. I can't, uh, I founded, <laughs> uh, I found uh, five of them uh, so far. And uh, I'm sure there's a, quite a few more, but a lot of them are from the, um, the first Texas infantry which was here early on in uh, the Civil War, 1861. A lot of those guys, uh, the dates of their passing is August 9 and 10, I think, of 1861. So I need to look that up, see what happened on August 9th, 10th, something in the, the area. And then there's a, um, I'm gonna walk over here. There's a Napoleon B. Dimmitt. Company D, 4th Texas Cavalry, CSA. He was born in 1833, and he, he died December 30th, 1862. He's, uh, that's him right here. Yes, I got it. Got it in my, in my camera view here. That's him right there. Yeah, so he's uh, you right here beside this pyramid, well in view of it. And there's some uh, other Texans, but they're from all over. I mean, it's North Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, uh, South Carolina, Virginia. Um, Mississippi, they're all in here. And, uh, anyway. So, uh, 
This uh, cemetery has also a, uh, been dedicated as a, uh, an arboretum because of all the old trees that are standing in here. And it's named after the, uh, the holly, Hollywood trees that are here. Not after Hollywood, California. Yeah, uh, obviously. Louisiana, okay. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so some of these, uh, I've read that some of the trees here have been here since 1840. They've been here since the cemetery was uh, dedicated. Um, so, witness trees, I guess they call them. You know, they've seen it from before the Civil War all the way to now, and they're still standing here. That's pretty cool. Anyway, just want to make a short video. I got to get to the airport here. My flight leaves here two and a half hours, and I'm about 15 minutes from the airport. So, and you know, these pictures and the videos, I really, like anybody will tell you, they don't really capture what your eye captures, you know? Um, the, the depth and the, the dimension that your eye will capture. Uh, the pictures, some of them look nice, but they don't do what the just standing here in the middle of it will do. Like anything else, beaches, mountains, whatever. Your eye captures a whole lot more than the camera is going to. But uh, anyway, a lot of pretty, pretty stuff. Trees. How much that sun is messing with my video. But. All right, I'm gonna, I am going to play taps here. So I'll set up for that. And then uh, um, I'll be out of here. Uh, I wanted to go over and see. There's like two presidents buried here. Uh, three presidents. Jefferson Davis is also buried here. He was a president of the Confederate States. The one and only. Uh, he is buried here with his family, so. And uh, two other presidents that I read about now I don't remember. Terrible. Terrible. The only one I remember is uh, Jefferson Davis. Yeah. Silly. Yeah. Anyway, I know the, it was the fifth president of the United States and the tenth president of the United States. Those were the two other two presidents that are buried here. And the tenth one. Um, committed himself to the uh, during the Civil War, sided with the Confederate States, uh, and uh, after his passing, uh, Jefferson Davis had a, made a big uh, event out of it to honor him, um, and then buried him here. Uh, but that tenth president, he's the only one who. Uh, was not recognized by the United States when he passed away. Um, I guess for obvious reasons. But, uh, but he was recognized in his home country at the time, that being the Confederacy. So he was not without honor. Anyway, I wanted to go over and see all that. May not have time. May have to finish up with taps and then uh, make this come back out here on another visit and it's a, it's a large large cemetery and there's a lot to see anyway you can't really do it all in one day you certainly can't do it in an hour which is what I've been left with today just an hour okay so that's it for now I will get this video posted along with uh, taps all right y'all see ya on the other side of uh, my flight see you back in Texas